Panetta joining us now. Uh, the slightest bit of relief today. It was nice to see the rain. It was nice to, to, to feel that way again, but uh, it's not looking like it's going to be around a while. Yeah, and it took, what, waiting 37 days from the last one? So wow. these are very few and far between, and just not nearly enough, obviously, outside. Clear skies in San Francisco right now. We did have rain at times. Giants game still wrapped up, but at times they had to kind of prepare the infield from inning to inning due to the light rain at times. Right now, 54 in San Francisco, cloudy skies, chilly. Around Walnut Creek, 59 degrees. Remember that temperature because by Thursday, you may see numbers in the mid 80s as the big warm up returns for the middle part of the week. Right now, San Jose, 57 degrees. Hour by hour, is still a, see, a slight chance of seeing a few showers here, probably through about 6 o'clock, and then clearing skies, trending cool. And uh, quite chilly for the morning in the North Bay. Look at that, 35 for the morning there in Santa Rosa, the clearing skies, cool air. Keep in mind, snow levels out towards the Sierra are still near four to 5,000 feet. So 30s and 40s for the morning and for the afternoon. I think the North Bay will have one more chance for seeing some showers, especially around Lake County, northern Napa County by mid-afternoon. Elsewhere, back into the 60s for highs around San Jose. 65 Hayward, uh, 62 in San Francisco, and about 60 degrees for high tomorrow in Napa. Storm Ranger mobile Doppler radar still picking up rain from Fremont up toward the Sonol grade. They've had about a third of an inch of rain near Sonol and a line of showers here from Castro Valley across the Dublin grade to near Dublin and San Ramon. As we widen out for it, you can see how the action is pushing off to the east, but we do have some very intense weather to our north and west. Check that out. A severe thunderstorm warning there in Glen and Tehama counties. We've had a funnel cloud of one storm off near Red Bluff. So we did get the thunderstorms north and east, not around the Bay Area. We got the clearing skies here now, but between now and sunset areas north of Sacramento, still dealing with some very active weather. And there is that cold pocket of air driving down snow levels, may see up to a foot of snow above 5,000 feet in the Sierra. So that's the good news. But here, Things are starting to wind down as you saw the chilly temperatures for tomorrow morning, clearing skies. Then during the afternoon for the higher hills of the North Bay, there comes, we think, that last chance of showers weakening as it passes south by 9 o'clock tomorrow. So once that clears, watch what builds in. Strong high pressure, that's going to lead to our temperatures, I think, for the middle part of the week. North Bay Valleys, East Bay Valleys, down towards San Martin. There's a chance we could see mid to maybe upper 80s in the forecast. That would be Wednesday and Thursday. Then as we head towards next weekend, we got a storm system here approaching, but notice it's staying to the north, so it's going to cool down, but any chances of showers stay to the north. And the reason why you may have heard some discussion, is this the last of the rain chances? Well, climatologically speaking, as you go through April into May, which is where the seven-day forecast is headed, this is the gateway typically to the dry season. And I know we've had a pretty dry uh, rain season since last fall, so the odds don't really get any better as we get towards the beginning of May. Instead, you got numbers in San Francisco climbing closer to 70 by the middle part of the week. We wrap up the weekend with 50s and then a bit of, of a temperature whiplash back into the 80s by the middle part of the week. So it'll feel more like summer Wednesday and Thursday. Some cooling next weekend, but unfortunately that cooling change doesn't bring any shower chances this far south. Something we unfortunately see more of as we transition into May. And of course, that storm is going to stay north. It looks like that for now. Yeah. All right. Rob, thanks a lot. We'll be right back.